You guys, somebody is a complete genius. But we've never given them credit. Because he or she invented Cinco de Mayo. Okay, sure, it's a battle in Mexican history, but does it really deserve a 4th of July-esque celebration stateside? A hundred percent, and that's why today we are teaching you how to throw your own holiday. Inspired by Cinco de Drinco. Welcome to Domestic Partners, where we talk about food, drink, and all things domestic. I'm Gabby Dalkin. I'm Aida Mollenkamp. And this week, like every week, we are sweating the small stuff here on Domestic Partners and we are figuring out how to invent your own holiday. We've done some major research all based around Cinco de Mayo, and we think we've cracked the code on how to invent your own holiday. It's pretty epic. The first step for inventing your own holiday is to pick a random historical event and throw a party around it. You know, like Arbor Day. Or like Grandparents Day. National Upside Down Pineapple Cake Day. Um, National Chips and Salsa Day? I don't even know. The list goes on. Pick one and make it epic. And then, of course, you want to have thematic cocktails and food. Think about Cinco. You've got the margaritas and really good Mexi food like this. Chilaquiles. Basically, tortilla chips dipped in your favorite salsa, topped with whatever the heck you want. In this case, we put on a fried egg. Avocado and cheese, please and thank you. Mm -hmm. Totally works every time. Okay, so we're gonna eat those, drink a margarita, and another key part to having an epic invented holiday, music, you have to have a theme song. And in this case, we're going with the Mexican hat dance. Always a really good choice. Always. Is there anything better than Mexican hat dance? Yes, there is. It's having a good thematic activity, you know, like playing the pinata. You can't, you can't play the pinata. Okay, whatever you do with a pinata, and it works really well if you fill it with teeny bottles of tequila, the plastic ones. Makes it way more playful and way more fun. Perfection! And last, but certainly not least, no invented holiday is complete without costumes or props because every awesome party needs to have those. So we've been inspired by these sombreros and we're just gonna rock them and then everyone else is gonna start rocking sombreros and everyone will be throwing your theme party by the end of the year. I mean, theme party ripple effect. This week's Food for Thought is brought to you by our dear friend, Orsito the dog. Orsito Cholula, as I like to call him. One tequila, two tequila, three tequila, floor. All right, that's it for this week's episode of Domestic Partners. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you at the same time, same place next week. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Adios.